The other common model is an asymmetric algorithm. Now, asymmetric algorithms are also called public key algorithms. They get this name because there are actually two keys. There's a public key and a private key. The public key is a key that's generated that you can give to anyone, and it's okay if someone intercepts the key. When a sender wishes to send a message to someone, the sender will take the receiver's public key and encrypt the message. When the receiver receives the message, the receiver will then decrypt the message with his own private key. And that's the key to asymmetric algorithms. Each user would have his own public key and private key. You can give the public key out to anyone, but you have to hang on to your private key and not give that out to anyone at all. It has several strengths. User maintenance and key management is fairly easy. Since you don't care who sees your key and you can give it to anybody that you want, you don't have to worry about interception issues. To delete a user from the strategy just basically means you don't use their public key any longer. Or if you do, then no one's going to be there to receive it. With symmetric algorithms, it becomes much more of a problem. You have to manage the keys more aggressively. Asymmetric algorithms also support non-repudiation. You can validate that a message came from who you think it came from. And key distribution is very simple. So it looks like asymmetric algorithms are the way to go. Are there any weaknesses? Well, yeah, there's one main weakness, and that is they're slow. When compared to symmetric algorithms, they're very slow. However, whenever flexibility is important, asymmetric algorithms are great. They're slow, but not to the point that they're unusable.